Do you know you could live stream on TikTok using your PC without any third party software? And the best part in this particular video is all the software you're going to be making use of in this video are all totally free. So meaning you don't need to pay for any of them at all from A to Z are all free and they are all supported by TikTok and you could use it to set up your live stream on your TikTok account with just your PC. All these are many more is what we're going to be taking a look at. Let's dive into the video. For returning subscriber, remember to give the video a thumbs up so the YouTube algorithm will know you are happy with the content. Head over to this website www.tiktok.com slash studio slash download to download the TikTok Live Studio and also note that it's not available for those on the Mac, it's only available for those on the Windows and you should be running Windows 10 or 11 before you can be able to install the software. If you're running Windows 7 or Windows 8, you won't be able to use the TikTok Live Studio and once you're on that website, you'll be asked to sign into your TikTok account. Also remember, you need a TikTok account before you can be able to download the software. Once you click on it, the software is going to download straight to your PC. Once it has finished downloading, let's go ahead and install the software. So open your file explorer and that's the software here. Right click, you could either open or run as administrator. Whichever one you do is perfectly fine. Once you're done installing the software, let's go ahead and open it. Go ahead and log into your TikTok account. Click on login here and then put in your information on the screen. So you can either use your phone number, your email, depending on what information you sign up your TikTok account with. Once you logged into the software, this is the interface you're going to see. So let me quickly explain some of the things and the tabs you're seeing here on the screen before we go ahead to bring in our camera and do some other settings for us to go live on TikTok. And also remember, you need to have up to a thousand followers before you can be able to go live on TikTok. Over here on the side, you have the cast and then you have the cast also. The first one is for Android. If you want to cast your phone to the TikTok live studio software. So just click on cast from the Android here. And the only thing you need to do is use a USB cable to do that. Connect your phone to it and you can be able to cast. You can do the wired casting or wireless casting where you connect your phone and your system to the same Wi-Fi and you can be able to cast your phone screen to the TikTok Live Studio. And the third one is image if you want to bring in your image and also the fourth one is camera if you want to bring in your camera. And also remember you could also connect it to your webcam or other virtual cameras and use it on the TikTok studio also as well. Down here you have the more button. When you click on the more button, you also see a different tabs here. You have the game capture on here. That is for those that are that do, making gaming content with it, which I'm also going to make a dedicated video for that. Now over here you have the camera, you have the display caption, you have the window caption, you have the link if you want to add the link to your TikTok live stream and you also have the video tab there as well down here when you have the capture card and when you have the camera it's still the same thing so the two tabs perform the same function don't mistake it and say this one is for camera and this one is for capture card they both do the same thing and down here on the live we get you have the alerts the go the chat box the viewer ranking the image the text and also the countdown and some other things that you want to add let me go ahead and add in my webcam click on the camera button here and over here let me drag this to the center you're going to see on the camera here you see the list of all the virtual camera or your capture card depending on whichever one you have connected to your system you see all of them here on the screen that you could make use of so i'm just going to go ahead and use my integrated webcam once you have that selected you could also rotate or flip or once you brought in the camera that you want to make use of over here on the resolution you could choose the resolution that you want to make use of and then on the also on the F fps you have that there to select on the saturation you could also put it on auto as well or you could just play around with the saturation now over here very important you have the background now you see it's already on turn off now, if you want to get rid of your background and you don't have any green screen at all, you're not using a green screen, but you still want to be able to get rid of your background, you click on this foreground here. You see the background is going, my background is going to disappear and this is how it's going to look like, you see? I don't have any light turned on on my room here and that is why it's looking like this. If the lights are turned on, you will see how nice the background is going to look. And if you also have a green screen on, you could also select green screen here. 
and then the similarities take this off that is if you have it so you're using a green screen as your background all right and also you have here on the contrast you could increase that the sharpness just play around with your color you know to enhance it a little bit but if you don't know what to do here just leave it the way it is or you could just put it on auto for the software to optimize and set that up for you and once you're done go ahead and click on add source here this is how it's going to look like i'm just going to click on it drag it where i want it to be and increase the size let's say you want to reduce your camera you know like a smaller size and also bring in your desktop um, or screen you know put it on one side you will be want to arrange some things show some things to your followers while you are doing the live okay maybe play a video capture your desktop screen that you want to do or maybe have some other information that you want to pass across to them this is how to do it all you have to do is just to resize your camera resize this and you could position it where you want it to be and then go ahead and click on this add source here and over here you see the window caption here click on the window caption here and click on add and here you could select the window that you want to caption you could select this one here okay depending on that one click on add source here and you could see here let me just click on ok and you can see my window screen is already captioned just click on this and then resize it you can just arrange this and bring in other things that you want to add if you want to add more things also go ahead and click on the add source here to add other things maybe like a video a different thing that you want to add you want to add an alert a go a chat box a text a countdown you could also add all of that as well and once you're done adding all your information on the screen the next thing that you're going to do this setting icon down here being in the screen this one here click on that new window is going to pop up which is this and over here you could see the um, at the side here you have the live quality the record that is if you also want to record your live broadcast and re-edit it later on you could also click on this record to set the path where you want your recording to be saved and also the format you want your recording to be on on the live quality here you go ahead and click on this video quality and resolution so you could just select any resolution at all that you want to use now whatever resolution you select you could also select a different video quality and a different resolution depending on what you want and once you're done you could play around with the fps also the video bitrate, the audio bitrate, and the encoder here you could also choose uh, the encoder if you're using an nvidia powered gra um, graphics pc you also see that here on the list of encoders if you're not you could also use your intel shared graphics um, encoder as well and then that is what i just selected for my own the stream latency you could turn that off and that is all you need to do here once you're satisfied with your qualities and if you also want the software to run automatic check and optimize all the settings here for you all you have to do is just to click on this one here and if you click on run the software is going to automatically scan through your network both for your, your network speed your resolution your quality and apply all the best settings it thinks that it's perfect for you and once you're done just go ahead and close it and then the next thing you're going to do is to go ahead and set your audio and this is this audio mixer down here at the bottom of the screen click on it and from here you could set your microphone what you want the microphone that you want to make use of you could also click on the settings here to edit your microphone that you want to make use of and that is it here on the screen apply the noise suppression then down mix to mono audio offset you know they have different settings already for you that you could apply to make your audio sound you know better and down here on the screen also you have the audio this is the, the first one is the microphone and the second one is the audio and that is your speaker Okay, where you want you hear your sound output too it could be your airport it could be your speaker depending on or it could be your earpiece depending on whichever one you are using okay and then also here click on the settings and you could also set the speaker that you want to make use of and once you're done you could go ahead and sound check click on the sound check to check your sound to make sure that it's coming in clean the way you want it to be and once you're satisfied go ahead and close this window also as well at the top of the screen here you see this mobile preview here click on that and this is how it's going to look like for those watching on mobile portraits and also for those watching on landscape this is also how it's going to look like you see how clean it comes right there on the screen and once you're done with every other thing that you need to do just click on the go live button you have at the right hand side here your live charts you see the what you are saying the those that are sending you gifts and everything you see that right here on the screen and also at the top you have 
the viewers, how many people are viewing, how many people are online, how many people are watching what you are sharing. And that is it right there on the screen. Talking about the money part, you have the live goal, the pull or gift to hold, the subscription and the game reward. You could also turn this on, bring it to your live where you can subscribe and also set a live goal that you want and also the game reward as well. All of this, you have all the options embedded on this software and you could set it up how you want it to be down bottom of the screen here pay very close attention to this and this is a cpu the memory the upload and also the frame drop the encoder and also the fps so just take a look at this in case your system you're using it's low you're going to say that this cpu once it's rocket it's simply telling you that your system memory or your system graphics is very low and won't be able to run this software properly you can see why is at 1.82 percent and the memory is at 2.2 percent here which is really really extremely good and it means i'm good to go and the software will work perfectly fine on my own pc thank you very much i remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't turn on the notification bell and see you on the next video also if you want to set a topic for your life just click on this add topic at the top of the screen here and you can set if you're a gamer and your chat or interview beauty or fashion you could set whichever topic you want your life to be on if it's music or education whichever one you are doing you should go over to the life info at the top of the screen click on that and you could be able to you know put in a cover image choose your topic that's your title, write about yourself, what your live broadcast is about. And you can also see the resolution that I'm streaming on, all the information there on the screen. And then you also have the audience control as well, where you can set it off so the life can only be shown or limited to those under the age or those age 18 and above. Okay, if you don't want to show your life to younger, um age maybe like 17 16 or from 18 downward you could also set this age or audience control here as well very very important then if you go over to the moderator tab here you could also add some other people that you want them to be as, or act as a moderator for you to monitor the comments news block some people from commenting trash on your live broadcast and this software is fully embedded with all the information that you want and if you go down here you could also comment on your life only when your life could also write a comment and let people you know know that you are with them you are still you're still here with them you know just if you want to send something to them on chat hey drop a challenge for me or something like that while the live broadcast is going on you could also do that as well so this is basically how to go live on tiktok i'm also going to show you how to fully set up the tiktok live studio for gamers for those of you that are gaming or for those of you that want to use it for gaming purpose i'm going to make a video on that for you as well and i'm also going to show you how to connect it to vmis and how to connect it to obs thank you very much and see you on the next one.